that intro that they had, that you know, I forgot that, that he nailed it with Bob Ross. Bob Ross had that intro, man, <laughs> where he doing that bag be- the green screen with. The- <laughs> you- I love the way uh, Corio is jamming this. I shit. love this song. I love this show too so much. Here, yeah, take this. Yeah, it just litters. <laughs> He's like Deadpool yeah, breaking yeah. reality. He's <laughs> There can be only one! <laughs> oh, let me go ahead and get into uh, an email that's going to carry us into our next, uh, our next segment right here. And this is from Serena Pearson. Serena, I don't ever want you to ask me this again. <laughs> she says, hey, Corey, I was just wondering if you saw the new somewhat teaser Ryan Reynolds posted on Twitter for Deadpool 2 this morning. If so, what do you think about this kind of promotional material? Showing a scene that will most likely not be in the movie, then showing a few seconds of movie clips? Do you think it works better than traditional trailers, or does it depend on the movie and our main character? And that's from Serena Pearson. And Serena Pearson, hell yes! I think this works. That's why I don't ever want you to ask me no stupid shit like that again. <laughs> Damn. No, no, hold on now. It does depend on the movie and the main character. If it's something people are already looking forward to, you can do something no, experimental. I'm getting it. And Serena, baby, I'm just, you know, just doing <laughs> theatrics. You know, I'm just doing this for the shit. Hyper bot. Like, hyper bot. Yeah, but don't you ever ask me no shit like that again. I'm a, you know, because now I got to stop everything <laughs> and, and give a reasons. <laughs> 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 now, I gotta, now I gotta explain to you why this will work. I have six reasons why. And we can have I haven't more. seen it, by the way. Oh, you I, had, no, I, I we're have gonna no, play no, it. No, because it popped up and I was like, I'll, I'll wait for the show. Because oh. you know we're gonna do yeah. it here. Mm-hmm. That's why we stopped doing Trailer Tuesday because you never know when something's gonna drop at any time. Exactly. In Deadpool 2, the teaser, or another teaser, dropped <clears> today. <throat> and like I said, I got six reasons as to why this will work. We can add on more. And I want some input from these guys, but y'all need to see it mm-hmm. to see what they're talking about. And yes, Martin, it is very, very different marketing that's going on for this. Let's go ahead and take a look at this, as Serena says, somewhat teaser for Deadpool 2. <laughs> that's the boy. Yeah. All right. Let's grab our trusty two-inch brush here. Whack that off real good. Just beat it like it owes you money. This is just childish. <laughs> I love it, though. I love it, I love it. I love it. Holy fuck, Knuckles. I am high as a kite right now. <laughs> Would you look at that? It seems like we have ourselves a finished painting. So from our family to your hugs, not drugs. This is brilliant. How can you ask me that question? This is brilliant right here. Oh, okay. This is a gun. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, I thought he was going to say something. I know it's a freeze frame. <laughs> Uh, very adult swim. No, very adult swim, man. And I, and I, for one, appreciate that. And listen, I don't even have to go into reasons. Everybody loves it. Martin, you love it. Sure. Of course you do. I mean, this is, a, this is well made. But Serena, you asked, so I'm going to go into reasons why this works. First of all, I, I laughed at the beginning of this, and by the end of it, I was like, I feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, <man. laughs> no, I, I mean, because I've, I've always felt weird from, uh, from from the guy that he's doing. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. The guy that he's portraying here, I've always felt weird about. Oh, Bob I love Ross. that guy, man. Bob Ross. The I always felt weird about, about, about Bob Ross, man. Because I used to watch this, that when I was a kid and stayed home from school. Although, man, that's the, that's one of the funniest lines that I've ever heard. Holy fuck, knuckles! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Holy fuck, knuckles, man. Um, but the reason why? Let me let me tell you why. This is uh, this this works, and let me see here. For for one, let me go ahead and bring this up right here. For one, we already know. Let me see if I can find the scene. One of the first reason right here. For one, we already know what Deadpool is gonna do. We already know that Deadpool is gonna have guns. Deadpool is gonna be blowing stuff up. We're gonna see characters that we've seen before return. We're gonna be introduced to some new characters. That ain't nothing new to anything, to anybody. You know, you that can be, that, if you're going to show something like this, you're going to tease something, this is the way to do it. Mm-hmm. Because we, with this character right here, we're not going in there for the action and for the guns and all that kind of stuff. Which those, is are what they, those are bonuses. Those are bonuses. We're yeah. in here, we're in here for, the, really for Deadpool, we're in here for the humor. Yeah, yeah, right. It's all about the comedy. Yeah, it's all about the comedy with him. And that's exactly what they've done here, which leads to number two. It fits the character. Yep. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the main reason why I think it works is it's totally in character and at the same time totally unexpected. Yeah, having him go in and address the audience. For anybody who knows his character, that's what they say. He 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 breaks the fourth wall. Mm -hmm. He talks to the audience. What better way to do this than with the show where he actually is doing a course? Yeah, <laughs> and Bob Ross those. feels like that guy. Like you're watching, he's just ruining this painting, and yeah. in the very end, you're like, how in the hell did he yeah. do that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually ruin a painting. Yeah, <laughs> Deadpool's pretty great. <laughs> yeah, and they're just clever moments in here too, like the like when he's laying down, like the the yellow snow right there. And then they get to the point right after that where they have that quick edit and it's a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Which it always felt like that. Each time yeah. you saw one of those, like, how to draw how to draw the flash. You always start with two ovals here and a couple lines and then another line here. And then there's your finished drawing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, they, they, as Martin was saying earlier, you can't do this with everything. Mm -hmm. and you can't do this with, with everybody. But this should tell people that if you do have a unique property, whether it's humorous or, what, or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. play around with it, man. Sure. I mean, that's what Deadpool is. He breaks reality all the time in the books and the shows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I mean, that goes, but it doesn't have to be comical. Let's say you have some other property where you can really go out and take advantage of the creativity with it. Do that, which is, leads to number three. People are getting tired of the same old marketing trailers. Oh, I think, you know, this is the day and age where we have teasers for a trailer of a teaser mm -hmm. of a yeah. trailer. Mm -hmm. And this right here. This is giving us something that has a lot of imagination besides just showing us scenes, you know, showing us uh, clips from the movie. Mm -hmm. You know, this this is what gets people talking because this is something where all these other things are saying, oh, you know what? We just going to be like drug dealers and just give you a taste. <laughs> you <know? laughs> well, well, and seeing like we've gotten with trailers where they come in three varieties. It's it's one that looks like every trailer we've seen for mm -hmm. everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, another that that drops spoilers and shows too much. Or, or the third trailer that we've been getting lately is the one that makes it look like a completely different movie than what it was. Mm -hmm. And then you go see and you're like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, no. And people are like, well, this was like a way different movie than what I'm going to get right here. <laughs> no, but that's... that's. But this is something creative. But it, this is mm -hmm. something creative and, they, and you know, it's taking a chance on you knowing that this is not going to be in the movie. It, instead, it wants you to know that we're doing this because of the character. Right. Yeah. But that leads to number four. You know... We're talking about teasers and trailers and whatnot. This still works as a teaser. You don't you don't get no more teasery than this right here. Like they they literally just give you glimpses mm -hmm. of things. They literally just go in and just give you a quick cut, uh, like a, a a twenty second montage before they pull away and really leaving you saying, okay. What the fuck? I think any <laughs> yeah. of those cuts are over a second. Yeah. Like, here, here, here. Like, okay, chill. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I, 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 this is not a full trailer. This is a teaser. This is pe people make trailers sometimes. Our teasers, they don't, they don't understand the meaning of the word teaser. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, they throw in half the movie, and that's a teaser. Yeah, before we get to the trailer, which is going to show you the whole movie. Exactly. <laughs> you know, this right here. I mean, you got to ask yourself, like, why is he in a coffin? You know, I don't know, but I'll find mm -hmm. out in the movie. You know, <laughs> let, let's go back to the painting lesson real quick. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, that leads to number five right here. You know, we're talking about that painting lesson. This is giving you entertainment as well as selling a movie. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You a marketing guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you justify. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, if it. A good way to sell somebody on something is to entertain them and to make them like you. And the first Deadpool did that really well with its marketing too. But with this one, they can do things that they could have never done with the first Deadpool. Yeah. They, they could have never done this with the very first one because people weren't familiar with him on the whole. There were fans who knew him and loved him. But now the general public knows who he is and they love him. Yeah. And it's, it, you know, because of that, it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. You know, selling you something, is, it sometimes can just be cheap. This is giving you a bonus. This is actually, okay, you're selling me the film, but you are giving me a short film mm -hmm. with that. You're yep. giving me bonus content. You're giving me bonus entertainment right here. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is uh, not only creative, but that is something that really goes into thinking about his fans and the people that is pitching this to. And number six goes without saying it's fucking Bob Ross. Of course. You know what I mean? Come on, man. I watched that today. <laughs> yeah. Bob Ross. If y'all don't know Bob Ross, then really, you, you, you're not cool. Yeah. You're not hip. You lame as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Ross, for some reason, you really are. Yeah. You're lame as hell, man. You don't know who Bob Ross is. You really are because Bob Ross has become a millennial treasure now. Yup. 
Like he has been rediscovered. That's that was so the funny. I think the smartest thing about what they did with this trailer was, you know, they they showed all the names of the colors and one of them was Red Dick. And of course Reddit runs basically uh-huh. everything on the internet right now. So of course that was the number one thing there. And then they showed Bob Ross, who was one of the biggest things on a uh, Twitch, I believe, uh, either early this year or late yeah. last year, when they had like a marathon and everybody was tuning in to watch they it. They had twenty four hour streams of this. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> Cause it was like that for me when I was a kid. And it's like these, it's these hipsters now. They love them too. Like they are hypnotized by that calm voice and that afro. Yeah, yeah. man. Cause I used to be like that as a kid. I used to stay home from school. This is how weird I was. I stayed home sometimes to watch Bob Ross. Wow. I used to love Bob. Ross. You skipped school for Bob Ross. For Bob Ross. Okay. He'd be talking about them happy little trees. And I was like, yes, <laughs> he beat the devil out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's love. Yes. Today we're gonna paint these nice mountains. <laughs> yes, nasty. Sometimes he just brings squirrels and shit on set. <laughs> yeah. And his son. Yeah. And his son. Yeah, he was a, he was a, a, a hypnotically weird dude, man. Yeah. And that and it was great. Well, I used it was to watch wonderful him too, but never to the level you guys oh, did. He's great. Man, the stuff that he would make in thirty minutes, you're like, how? Yeah, yeah. he is a magician. And like, what kind of shit was he on, man? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then like, yeah, like his backstory, he used to be like a some guy in the military, in the, like a he sergeant, was in Vietnam or something. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh wow, he's going to be like this big angry guy. He's like, no, it's got little happy trees. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I heard he killed children and wore a ring of ears and be like Mr. Rogers. Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Rogers both going into the yeah. the, the rice paddy. They were tag teaming. <laughs> <laughs> and then they got both PBS shows. <laughs> like coincidence? I think not. Yeah, he he went into this because he was literally tired of yelling at people in the military. Yeah. So, and it's so funny when you know that now and you watch an episode of his show, they have to mic him up so much. Uh, yeah, because he's just whispering the whole time right there, <laughs> and you can like hear every noise he makes with his mouth. It's kind yeah. of fucking yeah. Yeah. titanium yeah. white. Yeah, yeah. it's kind like, of like, gross. Oh. Yeah, and it was funny because you watch him paint. He would paint like. I have to paint this picture. I'm going to kill somebody. (laughs) This keeps me from murder. (laughs) But the thing about Bob Ross is, all right, it's Bob Ross, but they nail Bob Ross Mm -hmm. in this, man. Uh, Even that song just makes you like, oh, oh I'm yeah. happy. I know, like, yeah. like that intro that they had. That you know, I forgot that, that he nailed it with Bob Ross. Bob Ross had that intro, man, <laughs> where he doing that bag be- the green screen with. Yeah. <laughs> you, I, I love the way uh, Corey on this jamming. I, I shit. love this song. I love this show too so much. Here, take this. <laughs> it just litters. <laughs> He's like Deadpool hey, breaking yeah. reality. Killing himself. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! No! There can be only one. <laughs> <laughs> he re- man, he looked like he was in pain too. Uh, yeah, because he's shuddering. Yeah, he looked like he's like, oh god, oh Jesus, not like this. Oh, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Mercies for the weak. <laughs> All of that nice ass music. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, and you know what the with the colors that they were doing, you like the Betty White and the Yellow Snow, mm-hmm. like they got that here too. Like that, I forgot they put the names down sure. there. Mm-hmm. I'll show you how to put some of nature masterpieces right here on the canvas. Indian Yellow. I tell you what, let's get started. Today we'll have them run all the colors across the screen. <laughs> Titanium. Titanium White. Titanium White. Indian Yellow. Oh God, this cri- oh, one of the crimson ones. Yeah, I can do. Yeah, I love man, you you know this dude was selling titanium white. Oh man. yeah, and doing it, and, and doing it. Titanium yeah. white. Yeah. Have you ever cheered for a color of paint? I have. I know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, yes. I was like, oh, please, let Indian yellow pop up. Indian yellow. Yes. Yeah. Shit. Do titanium white and then hallucinate erasing yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna get to oh, you. <laughs> I'll get you, Ross. <laughs> I'll remember this bitch. <laughs> Titanium white. What is that? Palatio green, Thalo green, Palatio blue, green. <laughs> Prussian blue. <laughs> yeah, man. It, it's, Cadmium it, it, yellow. Yeah, 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 man. All of those are drugs. That's why he was doing these paintings right here. <laughs> but he nailed it in that trailer, man. On mm-hmm. that teaser. That, I'm gonna tell you something. This, this is brilliant. It really. It, you know, mm-hmm. this is one of the best teasers that I've seen in a while and whoever the marketing campaign is that got this together that they did an amazing job I I love this this is a yeah, I, this I, can't, I this makes me more pumped for the movie more than and I know I say what he's whacking off. This makes me more pumped for the movie than an actual teaser itself. Oh, and you know what? As a as a little bonus here, talking about how much this is a teaser, it still manages to tease very well certain things that. You want to see, like we talked, we talked about. You know that there's guns in there. Sure. You know there's explosions. You know there's violence. But we know that there's a certain character that everybody wants to see, and a certain actor, and that's Josh Brolin. 
as Cable. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, even with the painting, like you don't see Cable in there, but when they finally get to the painting, like they don't even show Cable's full face as a painting. You know, they don't show you the guy moving. They don't show you him in action. They don't show you the eye. Which they don't is show you the eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... You know, there's still a lot that they actually effectively keep from people, but still sort of, sort of, sort of throw out there. Yeah, so. and they, they showed um, some obviously some new mutants in there. Then you saw Negasonic right. Teenage Warhead that pops back up in the original X Men uniform, mm -hmm. like wearing the yellow and uh, black. So you're like, all right, yeah, you, Man, you gave us some service. Oh yeah. I mean, can I say something about that 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 X Men suit right there? Let me see here. That that uh that X Men suit because everybody back in the day, I remember. Where is it here? Because I remember uh talking about how. Oh, you know it's a good thing that uh, Wolverine ain't wearing that 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 yellow suit. It's a good thing they kept those yellow suits out because those don't work. I'm looking at uh, what's the name, Negaton, Negasonic Megaton, Teenage Megaton. Warhead, right. and it, it looks like, pretty cool. <laughs> and it's like I, those could have worked uh, uh, back in the day. Yeah. yeah, they just didn't know how to do it back then. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But it's nice though. It's nice. So yeah, you know, it's uh, got me. Very, very, very excited for. Stop being a pervert over I there, know. man. That girl's like thirteen years old. He's like, man, you know, oh. <laughs> yeah, you know how girl old that girl is, man. <laughs> Back there. No, no, she's in her twenties. Oh, she's in her twenties. Oh, in, well. in this she not. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Continue with, jacking with, off, then. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me Megasonic teenage the teenage warhead. <laughs> but the actress is of age. He's back there. He's he's hungry too. <laughs> I'm a kid. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he, he grunt. <laughs> Boy, I hate to be your roommate when you jacking up and all. <laughs> hey. 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 Looking at this picture, of this girl. <laughs> but uh, any last words? It looks dope. I can't. When is it coming out? 2018. 2018 yeah. Is it February just again? sometime 2018, or is it February again? February. I know they pushed it back because of that person that died or got really hurt. No, she died, didn't she? June first. Oh, okay. June first. Okay. okay. Nice. Nice. Well, yeah. Looking forward to it. And you know what? I know we got to, we, they can't do this the whole time. You know, we're going to have to, we're going to have to get a legit trailer. We're going to have sure. to get a legit, a legit teaser. But I would not mind more of these short films and these, uh, these, mm -hmm. little, these, these gags coming out. Well, mm -hmm. it just kind of shows you that when they do do the, the real trailer, they're still going to do something like this. With yeah. It. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, it's a lesson to be learned from this. I mean, not just, you know, for, for geeks, for, uh, for movie fans, but, you know, for, People in advertising you know? and and uh, Ryan Wilson. I mean Ryan Reynolds tweeted mm -hmm. this out. Not um, Fox itself. That's true. And he even leaked the very first trailer for the very first movie. Mm -hmm. Also, right. so it feels it makes it feel much more personal. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like oh, it's another big franchise thing. And this is yeah. this guy's passion project. I, yeah, I gotta tell you, this is his last chance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh hell <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he's <laughs> making the most of it. You see, him <laughs> last chance yeah. to just blow it all the yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Shit, he's actually gonna do a painting show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, uh, my parting words for this is that it's brilliant, genius things like this that makes me scared about Disney getting these Marvel properties from 20th Century Fox, 21st Century Fox. I thought those, those talks were dead. Oh, they keep rumbling, man. Yeah, they keep. <laughs> I got a feeling they'll, they'll, still, let him, they'll yeah. still let Ryan Reynolds keep con main control of this because I think yeah. he's the main operator here. Because I don't know if that mouse would have let them do something like this. Nah. No. And the thing is, I feel like this trailer is so good. Like the second one is going to come out, it's going to be like, ah, oh, it's good, but it's not as good as the first <laughs> yeah. one. Because like that's kind of how it's, it's going with Black Panther now. That second one came out with uh, Vince Staples in it, but they're still running that same one that has Run the Jewels in it in mm -hmm. theaters. Like, anytime I go see oh, a movie, yeah, they're playing yeah. that Run the Jewels version. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if, even, if, they're, if they're even going to run this in the theaters. I mean, I think this is something strictly for in internet entertainment, yeah. mm -hmm. and that's fine. So, yeah, man, good job. Good job. I applaud that. You know, I, I, I can't praise this more.